all right so welcome back so in this particular session try to explore the concept of inheritance right so what is inheritance and then missings so that's what we're trying to do so in the first session we will discuss inheritance and then in the next session we talk about mixings so inheritance simply is the idea of one of the principles of OOP in which you are deriving or like benefiting from the attributes of the previous class right that's the basic understanding so let's say you have a person like this which has a name and an age and you want to build another class right but you don't want to build everything from scratch you want to get the benefits and the methods and the attributes of the previous class that is where we use inheritance so in our case it's going to be like a person has a name and an age and then you are building a new class like for a student or a teacher so in this case it's going to be like student is going to be be a subclass so the person is going to be the parent class or and then the student is going to be the child class right or the subclass so the same way with the teacher it's going to be the subclass or the derived class so it is going to derive all the attributes and methods from the parent class or the base class or the super class you can also derive so the first stage here is a base class or the parent class the second level here is the single inheritance then if you build another class from these ones then it is a multi-level inheritance so in our case so this level here is single inheritance if you build another one here that is a multi-level inheritance and then in case you want to inherit from both the student class and the teacher class that is going to be like a multiple inheritance so for example a teaching assistant can be a student that can teach so it is having all the attributes of a student plus some of the attributes of a teacher so in that case it is a it is multiple inheritance but sometimes when you are doing multiple inheritance there can be an issue of conflict of the internals of the student class and the teacher class right so that's what is called a diamond problem like one two, it's like a diamond problem so one of the ways of facing it is to use mixings which will be exploring later so we use mixings to which is a benefit of multiple inheritance but can be used to face the issue of the diamond problem so let's see how to explore the concept of inheritance from scratch too much of the token i'll go back again i'm going to create my base class so this is the base class or the parent class so it has a name and an age and then one of the ways of when you are working with multiple inheritance or inheritance that most of the time you have to when you are trying to represent or work on the display the representation and the strength you have to go with this option going with this option is the best option so that even if you inherit from every different class it's going to pick from the current class so let's start so in case i create a new class so let's create p and then it's going to go with this option right so it's going to be a person the person is a, going to be our base class and it's going to have a name so let's give it as john mark as you have been doing and then this has an age of let's say 23 right. so perfect so this is going to be a simple class and if i go back and i print it out right, you get our result perfect so in case i want to build another person like from another class as we saw here which is a student like it's going to be like this so this is going to be our single inheritance so we are creating a student another class called student so this for inheritance we have three main features it can extend it can be inheritance that is full inheritance there is inheritance that is extension right it's going to inherit it but as extend it it can also be overriding right so these are the main ones so full inheritance in which are going to get all the benefits and the methods the behavior and attributes of the parent class extension is you take everything but you are going to extend it overriding is you are taking some and you're going to override it so that is the basic understanding behind the different forms of inheritance or the different things you can do with inheritance so let's try i'm going to create my class so this is going to be our full inheritance in that case just go with this option then my person then if i go with pass this in this case is a full inheritance right 
but this is full inheritance so it's going to pick everything from this in case i want to create a student class to so student one it's now going to be my student and then without passing in any values if i go back and i pass in let's say mark paul it's going to get all the attributes so i can just go with student one and i can just go with the name right and it's going to retain it without defining none of these attributes at the top right without defining name and age we got all of these things here all right so that's one of the benefits so this is full inheritance so i can do the same thing in case i want to create an inheritance that extends so let's work on that this that extends right we want to extend the student to something so let's say class the student person so this is wrong spell extend right i want to extend this one i have to first of all initialize what i want to extend so it can be end in it as we do i go to initialize it and i'm going to pass in self so self then i can now pass in all the attributes that i want so the first one is i'm going to pass in the name and then the age so th we have the name and the age from above then i also want to add another one so a student also has let's say some subjects the student learns right so that is the basic understanding and then for me to if i go straight away and i just go with self dot h is equal to h and then self dot subject we forgot the name we we don't need to do this right because we are inheriting from the one above self dot name we don't need to do this right because we are inheriting we don't want to recreate all of these attributes this is the one we added the subject is what we added so to be able to avoid doing this we just replace this one with super right so if i go with super super is going to inherit from the parent so super as we saw earlier on in our explanation super is like the parent class right so in order to benefit from all the attributes of the previous class that is the base class we just go with super right super and then i'll just go with underscore underscore so this is going to initialize those things so i'm initializing super so if i'm initializing super which is the person have to call the attributes of them right? only the attributes so in that case it's going to be my the attributes in this case is going to be the name and then the age so calling the super is going to help right it's very important it's going to call it's going to we call super to inherit inherit from the parent or base class right attribute so it's going to do all of those things so that we don't need to do or call this once again as we did previously so that is the basic understanding so this is the first one i've added subjects to it but that is something very basic now let's create this is inheritance that extends so i'm just going to go back and create a simple stuff I'm going to create an email from whatever the person has right then because i'm extending it so I'm going to retain something very simple it's going to be let's use a string i want to retain something very basic so what am i retaining i'm going to retain the name that the person supplies convert the entire stuff to lowercase dot lower right and then in case there is a space between them i also want to change them so i'm um, adding some features to it let's go with if there's a space i want to take off those space and i want to replace those space with underscore because we're creating an email we don't need spaces between them that is all right so this is going to create the email for us and then i can just add let's say we can just add the age so self so. 
apologies for how it is because of my mouse not my mouse my keyboard <laughs> yourself dot h right and then i'll put the robot there yeah the add sign just this sign say gmail.com so this is a simple way of working on that and i'll close it to here so that is a basic understanding so you are creating something very basic so we are we are adding a new feature to it of creating the email so let's create a student so student 2 it's going to be student and now i can just go straight away with the name so let's go with name we give so mark paul and then i can just put in the age so 23 and because we have added the new class of student i can just of the subject i can just pass in the subject so let's pass in subject let me say math so in this case if i go back and i just go s2 dot create email now we have it already working right perfect so that is a basic understanding so we have we are inheriting from this from the parent class called person and because we don't want to call the name and the age again we don't want to do self dot age self dot name and then it's equal to name we don't want to do this again and then self dot age it's equal to age we don't want to do this that's why we bring the super right so the super helps or prevent us from repeating ourselves right because we want to inherit from the parent class that is the basic understanding so let me keep it here so that you can have it for reference right, so the super is going to help avoid this perfect so that is the basic understanding so we have inherited everything from above i go with s2 dot subject you can get that you can see that we have the subject there very simple that is inheritance that extends now let's create another one for a teacher according to our diagram we are creating one as a teacher here so this is going to be for the teacher and this is going to be inheritance that overrides. You can also have inheritance that overrides, which is going to be something like this. So class, teacher, right? And this is going to go with person. Then I want to override some of them. At least I want to override create email or something, right? So it's going to be the same thing. In it, then self. Then I'm going to pass in the name, the age, and then I want to also add a new feature to it. So let's add something different for me students so then just pass us a department right for the teacher then to get the benefits i just have to go with the same thing as we did here dot underscore underscore in it underscore underscore then name and then age right because you're inheriting from from the person with the parent class that is all we need and then we just go back and initialize the department. So let's go with department. Right. right, you can do something like that. So now we want to override one of them. So in case I want to override this one, we can use method overloading. We can also use different formats. So let's create another function. So let's say add department. Right. and then this is going to be self and it's going to take in let's say the department they want so it's value and then in this case i can just go with so you can just add the department to it right you can convert this one into a list so that if the whatever the person supplies it's going to be seen as a list and then we can now append to it so this is not the best way so in this place we can actually use composition right but let's go with this straight away so let's make it something simple so we can just we want to append it to this self dot department dot append right and then you're just going to pass in value this is not the best way of doing it right this is not the best way this is not the best way right but you just want to see the idea behind composition so perfect so let's go back and try it again the teacher has this particular function so teacher one is going to be teacher and I'm going to pass in the same thing so the teacher is called Peter Peter Pan right and then we can just give the age and then the subject right so this time we are giving the department so let's call it a uh, physics 
department. And remember that this is now a list, so I have to go back with this option here. Because we are setting as a list, and I can add multiple stuff. There. So let's pass in, let's say, mass department. Yeah. Something like this. So if, if I come back here, let's close it with this. Now everything is working. So let's see the reason why it's giving us this error. So super, right, it doesn't have underscore because we brought it. Yeah, so it's going to work perfectly. So I go back with this, now it's working. So I can now just go with T1 and I can now, if I go with this option straight away, we see we got teacher. The reason we got teacher straight away, although we are inherited from person, is because we use this particular option here. So this is very important, right? Very cool. So that is something simple we have done now. We have understood the concept of multiple inheritance, right? No, of single inheritance. So we are inheriting from person as a student and a teacher as a student. So the idea behind inheritance is that we can say something like, so a student is a person, a teacher is a person, right? And let's move on from there to the teaching assistant, right? So that is the multiple inheritance. So we're going to create another one. And that's how I think we have inheritance that is a full inheritance. For example, like with the past, it's going to inherit everything. Extension, in which you take something and add to them, you also have overriding. Overriding means that you're going to override everything, right? Inherit it, but you just create your own stuff, which we will not do later. For example, I can also do the same thing for the create email, and I will do method overriding for that. Okay, let's move on to multiple inheritance to save us time. So this is going to be for multiple inheritance. So a TA is, from the diagram, a TA has is a student and also a teacher. So how do we create that? So let's call this one as a class. Teaching assistant. Right, and a teaching assistant must, is a student, but also is also a teacher, right? So if I go with this option and I go with pass, Going to work straight away so let's create a ta1 and let's see what is going to result so teaching assistant so now we we for for the teacher we had name age department for the student we have name age subject so how do we combine them together so that is where one of the issues comes when you are doing multiple inheritance right there's going to be conflict of the internal state so we have my student we already have the name, so let's give it as let's say Mac Marcus, right? John Sen, right? So that is the name. We want to add age, so the age is going to be 25. Then we can move on from there to something like the subject. So which one is going to go first? Are we going to go with the student or are you going to go with the department? So if I go with mass, right? And let's move on to the other one, which was our list. So let's pass in, let's say the same thing. I'm going to pass in these ones. And let's close it. If I run it, so we are giving teaching assistant, I spelled it wrong. It is giving us this error, student underscore underscore, and it takes four positional arguments, but five were given, right? That is one, two, three, four. Right, so it's telling us five for a given. So why is it having this conflict? So that is one of the issues of multiple inheritance, right? If you don't structure it well, you're going to have an issue. So that is the first issue, right? Conflict of the internal state. So this is going to generate conflict. So it doesn't know which to use, right? So there's going to be a conflict. State as well as argument. So it doesn't know which argument to use? Should it use four from the student or should it use, right, it's having that issue. So one of the ways is that you, let's see the various ways we can solve them. So this is going to be the different solutions. No one, right. So one of the ways is what is called, uh, you have to specify the method. You have to initialize all of them. So we're going to initialize all, right, and then specify the order right 
So this is called method resolution order. So in that case, we're going to specify that particular one. So in that case, it's going to be the class, the same thing we did. And let me copy this one then to save us time. So this time, we are going to initialize the entire stuff to init. Then we're going to go with self. We're going to pass in the name, the age, then the subjects, right? And then the department. Perfect. So just as we had previously. So we are combining all of them together. Then I'm going to specify which is first. So initialize the student one and ask one go in it. So this means that, okay, when I initialize it, first initialize the student, that's the first order. So in that case, I have to specify the name. So self, don't forget, then name and then age, right? And then the next one is going to be the subject. Perfect. Then also initialize the teacher. So this is going to be the second one. So self, name, age, and then the department. So this is the order that is going to go, right? So in our case, it's going to initialize these four attributes and then start with the first one for student and the second one as the teacher. So let's try and see if it's going to work. So I'm going to go back again, copy this one, let's see if this one is going to face this issue so this is going to be ta2 and perfect so now it's fixed so the reason it was able to face is that now we are specifying which order is supposed to go right so method re resolution order so first order second order so if i go back and i just go with my ta2 so i've gotten marcus and and then what's the name of it the age right so it took the first one first which is what we had initially the reason it's given us this option is because we had for the person this is, we have only just the name and age that is why it is given us that right so it's still inherited from the parent from the parent class as in the person here so it still benefits from it that's why we still have this one here so we have to override them and write it in a better way okay but i still have all the attributes so I can check for, let's go back, I can just check for the name. So I've got it, the name, I can check for the age. You still get it, I can just check for the subject. We still got it, right? So all of them are working. So this is for the student. So this one was for the student. And then this is going to be for the teacher. Right, so we have two of them, and all of them are working to the teacher. So if I go back and I just go with the department, then everything is working. So this is one of the ways of facing that issue, right? You have to specify which order. And since we are using method resolution order, now we can just check for it here. So method resolution is one of the solutions order so to check for you just go with this option just go with the class that we had so teaching assistant so teaching assistant dot underscore underscore mro right so i go with this option now if i click on it it's going to give us the order so based on what we have here we have the teaching assistant right that's the base class the one that we have that's not the base class that's the current class that we have the, the one at the level of the multiple inheritance, then it's specified as student first, then teacher, then person, right? So that is how it's going to read it. So teaching assistant, student, teacher, person. So teaching assistant, student, teacher, and then person. So that is why the order is like this. It's the last of all the MRO is always the object, right? And then the parent class, very cool. So that is something, one of the solutions. Now let's see the second solution. So the second solution is to use this option, this solution number two. Right, With the, in case you, you don't want to initialize these ones and you want to avoid this, you want to use super, right? In that case, it's going to be with this option, this solution number two. Okay, so let's check it out. So how do you face it with solution number two? So solution number two is that you, in case you want to use super, right? 
in case you want to use super you have to use quarks and then ax that is the best way so in that case i have to go back again and then pick this one from here right when you are creating your derived classes you have to specify with the quarks there so i'll go back again And then I'll just come back here. So in this case, we have my person, right? So when you are creating everything, you have to bring quarks and ax, right? So it's going to be my at least keyword argument. That is the meaning of quarks. So quarks here. This is going to be my keyword argument. So I'll come back here. And then the same thing for the department. It's supposed to be the last one. So asterisk, asterisk, quarks. Right, and then quarks. So keyword argument. It can be anything, but we prefer to call it by convention. This is the name for right. So that is all you need. Right. And then when you go with this, you have to also initialize it. You have to also initialize it here when you initialize it. So the same thing we did above. Then quarks. That is all right so that is the business that is the solution so once you put the quarks here keyword argument keyword argument initialize it do the same thing for here for the for the for both of the classes now if i come back and i want to create this one it's no more going to give me that, that error right so i can use the super straight away so instead of this i can just go straight away without this one here take off this and use the super straight away, right? So super, then dot underscore underscore in it, underscore underscore, and I just pass in the name is equal to name because it is keyword argument, the age is equal to age, then the subject is equal to subject, and then department is equal to department right so this is the second solution so this is going to be solution number two right so by doing this option here you face it right so we, but because we use quarks we can now call super and now let's try it again so if i go back to ta2 irrespective of the order is always going to fetch it so teaching assistant Let's make this one too, right? So that we know that this is the change one. Now I can just move on and then pass in the name. So let's pass in a simple name like Johnny Marcus, right? You're just giving any name. Then you can just give the age. Yeah. And then we can also give the subject. So you can pass in the subject there. So just mass. And then now you can just pass in the department as a list. So let me copy the one from here. So this is solution number two, right? In case you want to use super, right? You have to bring the quarks, initialize them. So hopefully it works. Now if I run it, everything is working as expected. So if I go with TA2, everything works perfectly, right? So I can just go back with TA, let's say department. And it is working irrespective of the order, right? So that is something very basic, something very nice. So it's always going to remember the order if you use this particular option. So that is the second solution. So in this case, you are using super and then quarks, right? So this is the other solution. Perfect. So we have seen two methods in which you can use to face the issue of the arguments and then the internal complex order for multiple inheritance. The other alternative is to use something which is called mixing, right? So in this case, if you are using mixing, now it's mixing is just like one of the solutions or one of the benefits of multiple inheritance, which is also used to solve this diamond problem, right? So with mixing, you are going to use it to argument any particular class you want to give an attribute to. So let's say we want to add a new feature to multiple classes. We can use inheritance, but you can also use mixing, which is a form of multiple inheritance. 
in which you just create your main feature, right? Let's say a student and a teacher, right? So we know that for a teaching assistant, the difference between a teaching assistant and a teacher or a student and then a teaching assistant that the teaching assistant has some department he teaches, right? Or he belongs to. So we we're just going to create a mixing, right? Another class called teaching mixing. Then we go to add it to the student. Then now the student can benefit from all the features of a teacher. Right? That is the basic understanding without having the same issue. So that is the third solution. So if you know Django, let me show you what I mean by Django. Django uses a lot of mixings, right, to make it cool. So let me show you. Back to using mixings with class-based views. So Django uses multiple inheritance and mixings for a lot of things, right? So in case you inherit something like this, if I go with this option here, it is, we want to add some new features to it. So this here is a new feature, right, coming from here, which is going to be used on our new class, right? Very cool. So most of the things we use in Django is operating with the concept of mixing. Okay, so that is one of the usefulness of mixing. So let's see how to do that in the next session. So mixings are just an alternative class design pattern that avoid both single inheritance class fragmentation and then multiple inheritance diamond dependencies. So it is useful. I'll leave it so that I can also read it. It is useful when you want to provide a lot of optional features for a class. And you also want to use one particular feature in a lot of classes, right? You can also use the creator pattern or the creators, right? As you already know, the creators wrap functionalities around a piece of code, but missings are going to add functions to a code using inheritance, right? Okay, so let's see how to implement that. So I'm going to create the other alternative, so this is going to be a missing. So let's see. So this is going to be the third solution so mixing right in this case we are using the solution number three so it's going to be my class then let's call it as teaching missing right or we can call it as department missing right you can just give it any name so department missing right something like that and then i'm going to pass in my object Right, we are creating it. It is every missing must always inherit from objects, right? Yeah, that is one of the rules, and yeah, that is the basic understanding. You're not going to pass in person here, we don't pass person here. We are creating a, a new object that's going to add this particular feature of teacher, right? Department, or we can call it as teaching missing, right? So it's going to add this teaching missing to a student, and a student becomes a teaching assistant. So you can just initialize it. Sometimes you don't need to initialize it, but let's do that in our case. Self and then object, the name, the age, and then let's go with, let's say the department. Right. So this is the new feature we are trying to add to it, right, department. And now I can just go out with super. Then put underscore underscore in it, underscore underscore. Then I'm going to pass in the name and then age. Right, so these are the two ones I'm going to add, and I'm going to go with department. Go to department. Right. So the department in our case was uh, a list, right? So we're going to do the same thing here. In this particular case, this is this idea here, this simple idea here the concept of composition right this simple idea here right we are just this is one of the ways of designing composition okay perfect so we are done with this now if i go back again i do not visualize it all yeah i have to fix this one yeah it's because of this it's supposed to be here So sometimes you have to read the instructions. Object is not defined. It's supposed to be object small. Object, right? Perfect. Now this is the second solution. So in case I want to create a TA, so TA3 or TA3, I don't. I will just go straight away with this option. So I'll just go with the teaching assistant. 
or let's create a new class. We want to create a class for teaching assistance, so it's going to be let me see, right? So it's like it's going to be my class, I call it teaching assistant, so teaching assistant three, right? And then the rule is most of the time the missing is the first one that goes in. So teaching missing. Right, and then, and then now I can pass in the student. Right, that is the one that is going to argument. Then if I go with pass, straight straight away I have added this particular feature of the teaching missing to the student. So now I can just quit T three. Let's pick it from here. I'm going to pick this same thing, and automatically it's going to work. Hopefully. Right. So this is going to be teaching a stand three. TA three. So let's see why it's giving us this error. So the reason it's giving us this error is that we remember this is calling super, right? So the super must correspond to the teacher, to the student. Right, so we have to pass in the subject here because there's nothing about subject here. We have to initialize the subject. That's why it's giving us the error. Right, so if I go back here, because the subject here is part of these ones, and there is subject, so age name, subject. So we have to call those ones. And what you are trying to add to it is just the department. Right, this is the new one we are trying to add to it. You can use composition. To do the same thing, but let's move on straight away with this option. If I go back again and I call it back. Now it's going to work. So the error that it gave to us was it takes from three to four position argument, but five for keeping. So now if I go back and I run it, hopefully it works. Perfect. See that now it's working. So that is the third solution using the idea of multiple inheritance with mixing, right? Which is going to add some functionalities to a course using inheritance. So it's Via inheritance, this is not using the creators, this is using inheritance, the same idea behind inheritance to add a new function to the student to create my teaching assistant. Right? So, we are using a new function via inheritance, which is still multiple inheritance, and then it's going to add a new feature to the student class. So, that is a basic understanding behind the mixing. Right? We can also get back again. And if I go back to department, here we have the department, right? If I go back to the actual student one, which is the subject, everything is working as expected. So, so that is the basic understanding. I hope you have learned something. So the basic understanding behind all that we have done so far is that inheritance is a very nice concept, but you have to know when to use them, right? There's also composition, which we'll be trying to see and explore in the next session. So thank you for watching. See you in the next session. Stay blessed.